So being uh, a married couple and working together as musicians, does that present lots of opportunities? <laughs> opportunities? Possibilities, I mean, challenges. I mean, it just seems, it seems like, you know, because I, I mean, I play with people, but they, uh, you know, they, one lives over here, one's in Nashville, and, but when you're in the same house, can, isn't that an advantage, though, just saying, oh, I got an idea, let's try it out? You know, sometimes, but sometimes it's a lot of scheduling conflicts. Even, even then? Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, especially if we're both playing in different ensembles all the time. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. play, how many different ensembles do you play with? Let's see, I play with the um, Knoxville Jazz Orchestra, then there's the Blueprint Band and Streamliners and then our group and a few others I can't even remember right now. And then, um, you know, freelancing, both of us freelance, so yeah. it gets kind of hectic. Is there enough uh, jazz uh, opportunities and music opportunities to keep you guys busy as you want to be in Knoxville? Oddly enough, yes, but the key is uh, being uh, diversity in your playing style. If you only play one way, then that kind of limits what you can do, but if you're playing a lot of different styles, so we branch off not just doing jazz, but R&B or okay, we can do country stuff or church stuff, you oh, know. Classical. Yeah. yeah. And we also do teaching and workshops and things like that, and concert concerts on the theater uh, level. So yeah. that's good too. And speaking of uh, education and, and workshops, a young kid pl getting ready to play, let's say saxophone, mm -hmm. What, what do you tell them? I mean, you know, that, you know if, if, like if I were seven years old, maybe <laughs> maturity-wise, um, you know, I came up and said, I, I want to play sax, but I, I don't, you know, what's the best way to tackle this monster? It's not easy. You know, I join your local ensemble, your school ensemble, you mm -hmm. know, and take private lessons. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's always helpful. Yeah, and I will say, start listening to things too. You know, if whatever you want to play, you should listen to people who you're attracted, you know, ears attracted to. If you like it, you know, learn it. Take a trip with me to hear the sounds of the town at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido. Where all the swinging cats can go to really get down at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido. We'll hop the JR line around half past ten. Then we can catch the show from beginning to end. So hurry up, don't make me have to say it again. Knoxville Club of Hokkaido And if you got the blues The band can take care of that At the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido With dizzy rhythms flowing You can get up and dance At the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido We'll do the Lindy Hop Until you sing do hua then you can snap your fingers like you were glad all along. Then shuffle to the stage and leave a tip in the jar at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido. You'll find a smile on each face at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido. If music is your friend, we'll boy, you're in the right place at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido. Well, we'll have some yakitori, best that money can buy, and you can drink the sake till the well runs dry. Go on and take your shoes off, they won't even ask why. Club of Hokkaido at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido at the Knoxville Club of Hokkaido. Don't worry, go to the diamond. Thank you.
Thank you, yo.